Hey, Pisces. It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's going on, you guys? You want to do a big old fat reading for Pisces, huh? See what's going on. See what's coming towards you. What you need to look out for. What you need to look forward to. You ready to throw down some cards for Pisces? I am. I'm a Taurus sun. But I'm a Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. All right. Let's do this, you guys. Let's do this. Y'all come on in. Get comfortable. Get your blanket. Woo! Woo, these cards want to talk. Get your blanket. Get your pillow. Put your feet up. Get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen. Put in the earbuds if you need to. Hunker down. And let's dive in. Okay? It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about it as I clarify it. And we'll sew together a story. Okay? I will go back and read you from the beginning to the end the story. So while I'm channeling and figuring things out, um, you just sit tight, right? That's what the earbuds and the kicking it up and the drinking and the smoking and the eating's about, right? Chill, relax, let me work through the story, and um, I will read you the whole thing when I'm done, okay? All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, hold on. <laughs> All right, spirit, <coughs> source, universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me. Spirit in Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about Pisces and what does the Pisces need to know about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their best and highest good. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Pisces. I'll cut three times right there, and I'll pull straight from the top. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Spirit, cut these cards. Let's go. One, two, okay. Three. One, two, three. All right. Hermit in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Okay. I'm going to set this aside, actually. I wonder what comes next. Let's see. The Hermit. The Hanged Man. The Four of Swords. Okay. So some kind of a decision. So there's something that you need to figure out. And we're going to read about it. All right. Oh, a few things you need to know about me before we get started. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. Um, you will hear me swear. And I'm going to smoke my vape on camera if I want to. And if any of that bothers you, now is the time to just kind of check out and go home. Okay? All right. The neighborhood's a little too rough for you here if that offends you. And that's your warning. All right. First card out, the three of pentacles, some kind of teamwork, collaboration. The five of cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment. The seven of pentacles, reflecting, assessing. And the Six of Swords in reverse, some kind of mental baggage or mental bullshit. And the Princess of Wands. Can you guys see those? Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. Exploration, discovery, excitement, possibly a message. The Emperor in reverse, someone who is out of control of themselves um, in some way. The Two of Swords in reverse, uh, some kind of crossroads in the mind. Maybe not enough information to make a decision. The Wheel of Fortune, some kind of obviously good fortune. It's a turning point. Can be karma, can be divinely orchestrated steps of your path. The Nine of Pentacles, independent, self-sufficient, standing in your power. Ace of Swords in reverse, perhaps someone's not telling you the truth or you're not thinking straight. The Five of Swords, some kind of mentality, holding on to some kind of mentality with a white knuckle grip to the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, I'm backing up way back here because my cards are coming out. The King of Pentacles, uh, we'll see. The Queen of Cups in reverse to the Prince of Cups in reverse. Ooh, and the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Movement, action, change. Coming out of the cold with the Five of Pentacles, the burden, the struggle, renewal, the Eight of Pentacles, the Fool in reverse to the Princess of Swords in reverse. Ooh, to the Three of Cups in reverse. The High Priestess, what's your soul saying? To the Two of Pentacles, prioritization. The Lovers in reverse, the Two of Cups. It's the same, it's repeating, right? To the world, 
a change in everything, okay? And then it just keeps repeating and keeps repeating, so I'm pretty sure that, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that is where we need to stop. All right, you guys, let's dive into this. Let's see what the heck is going on here. All right, what is going on here? Well, maybe a message. Uh, of some kind of offer or someone wanting to get something together going with you. But you got a lot of mental baggage about it. So let's see. The Three of Pentacles. Tell me what this is. This teamwork, this collaboration, this getting along with someone, building something, making plans. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Oh. Queen of Pentacles to the Five of Cups. Loss, regret, despair, disappointment, Ten of Wands, burden, and struggle. Okay. To the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about this. The Seven of Pentacles. Look at that. The Eight of Cups, right? Walking away from something. Six of Swords in reverse have had mental baggage ever since. The Chariot and the Princess of Wands. Wow, look at that, Pisces. All right, remember I'm gonna confuse you. I'm gonna sew it together though, okay? I'm channeling right now, give me just a second. Give me just a second. The Emperor in reverse, hmm. This guy though, or girl, this energy though, this being though, how about that? This being, the Emperor. Who is this? Who is this and why are they in this reading? Who is this? Who is the Emperor in reverse? Who is the King of Swords? Okay. Okay. What's the, what is Two of Cups? Knight of Cups. Look at that shit, Pisces. Wow. Wow. Do you remember that the only way to know your true story is to have your own cards read? All right, Pisces. This is what's going on, okay? This is what's going on. Check this out. So, the Three of Pentacles represents in the past, okay? In your past. Not a past relationship with anybody else. In your past, okay? You put a lot of effort and time and willpower into being a Queen of Pentacles, a serious queen significant other to someone or um, um, married to someone, okay? You have put in, uh, somewhere in your past, you put in a lot, a lot, a lot of effort into being a queen of pentacles, okay? The queen of pentacles is the mama, the mama bear, right? She takes care of the house. She's, she's domestic. She's earth energy. I think it's Virgo. Um, it's just a real grounded kind of feeling, okay? And so you put in a lot of time and effort trying to be a queen of pentacles in some significant relationship in your life. And all you got was the queen of pentacles in reverse. All you got was loss, regret, despair, disappointment with the five of cups. All you got was burden and struggle, okay? So you tried real hard in some situation in your life and all you got was a bunch of bullshit, okay? in return for it. Seven of Pentacles. Now, as you reflect and assess on things, Eight of Cups in reverse, you have decided that A, the situation wasn't good enough for you and you walked away from it, or B, you have dis... You, <laughs> yeah, let's say that, okay? So you decided at some point, okay? Seven of Pentacles. You reflected, you assessed, you decided at some point that you were going to leave this behind, that the effort that you were putting into being a queen of pentacles in type, some type of situation, um, because all you got was a bunch of shit for it, right? So walking away, leaving it behind you, the six of swords in reverse, but you still carry a lot of mental baggage that is associated with the bad taste in your mouth from you giving it your all in some kind of situation and it just kind of blowing up in your face, okay? And you're disgusted and you're like, no, I'm just not about this. I'm not about this. I'm not about that. 
I'm not about it, but there's some mental scarring that is residual from all of this for you, Pisces, with the Six of Swords in reverse, okay? The nine of, I'm sorry, the Princess of Wands. This Princess of Wands is about something that you need to pay attention to. It's dual purpose, okay? It's dual purpose. I'm going to read all of it, okay? So this is something that you need to pay attention to. What do you need to pay attention to? Your mental baggage from your past, from something that um, really just took it out of you, okay? You need to pay attention to that. You need to explore and discover. That's the definition of the card. Excitement, enthusiasm, exploration, discovery, sometimes in the form of a message, okay? It is a message, but that's another story, okay? This is for you right here, right now. You need to explore and discover and pay attention to this thing right here that you carry in your mind and it's poisonous, okay? It's the whole, um, I'm never, ever, ever going to put in that kind of effort into anything ever again like that because it's just not worth it, okay? That's the baggage of the Six of Swords, okay? Princess of Wands says, see this for what it is. Wrap your mind around it, right? Turn the Six of Swords in the upright and say, say la vie, um, and leave the mental baggage behind you, okay? Why? Well, the chariot, major arcana, the first major arcana to be here yet, okay? The chariot says, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I am here to usher you into the next phase of your life. Okay, chariot, I want to point out, is number seven, just as the seven of pentacles. And they both, they're, they're, they're related, reflection and assessment, right, reevaluation. The chariot is about putting in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what it is that needs to get done. They're hand in hand, right? This guy's reflecting and assessing, and as soon as he decides what it is he's going to do, the eight of pentacles would come in, and then the nine of pentacles, and then boom, you know, so on. But nevertheless, the Seven of Pentacles and the Chariot are feeding off of each other here because the Chariot says, let's go. And over here, um, you are thinking about something. And what you're thinking about is the mental baggage that you still have lingering from this thing back here. So the Chariot, put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination, pay attention to what's going on right here because it is a, the spirit source universe wants to take you in a different direction. The, the door is opening for you to step through this threshold into a new phase of your life. That's the chariot. Okay. All right. This also is a message. Okay. The princess of wands, Spoiler alert, as we get down here, you got two people coming at you. You do. <laughs> you got two people coming at you. And you need to get your shit straight right up here so you can make the wise decision down here. That's why they're bringing it up first. Okay? 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 Um, the message. Uh, someone is sending you a message. Okay? The, again, this card being about exploration and discovery, right? Sending you a message, testing the waters, testing the grounds, trying to get something started with you, okay? Your advice from the Major Arcana is to keep on rolling. <laughs> keep on rolling. Why? 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 Well, here's why. Well, well, the Emperor in reverse. This emperor in reverse is the person that's bringing you this message, okay? This emperor, in, okay, period, drop down, new, new story, new paragraph, okay? New aspect, okay? Okay, message, chariot says, roll by, okay? You need to focus on something inside of yourself. Roll on by this whole thing. Why? Emperor in reverse. Because this person that's coming to you is out of control of themselves somehow, some way. They are. They're, they're out of control of themselves. The emperor's got his shit together, right? He's got his power and manifestation on point. He's got his intuition on point. He's got his act together. The emperor in reverse is someone who doesn't, right? So this person is coming at you somehow, some way. I asked who this was, okay? And this is twofold with the king of swords right here. I asked who this was. So, this King of Swords can either be that this person is involved in some kind of law enforcement, military, 
justice of some sort, um, sometimes a speaker, maybe. Um, the King of Swords is um, decisive. Of course, it's air energy, right? Um, so this person could be like that, but what I feel this card is really saying is that this person's going to speak their truth to you. They're going to lay down some kind of truth to you, okay? But check it out. King of Pentacles. you got someone else coming in right with this person. Either right before, during, or right after this person makes contact with you. There is going to be another person that is going to also pick your interest, okay? This person is the King of Pentacles, all right? This person, this person is the complete opposite of the Emperor in reverse. The complete opposite of the Emperor in reverse, okay? And what the deal is going on right here is that the Two of Cups to the Knight of Cups, they're both going to bring you a cup and they both want to have some kind of unified relationship with you. But here's the kicker, okay? One of them is a real King of Pentacles. The other one is going to profess their truth that they have stepped into the energy of a King of Pentacles. And that's where you're going to have to really, really feel that out and rely on your intuition, which is always your source energy, trying to calibrate your internal compass towards your true north, okay? You're going to have to use your intuition because this person is going to profess to be a king of pentacles, but you truly do have a king of pentacles that's coming towards you. And you're going to have your choice between this person that's, according to Major Arcana, is out of control of themselves on the inside, perpetrating to be in control of themselves on the outside. And then you have someone who is truly in control of themselves that's also connecting with you somehow, some way. Okay? All right. All right. Two of Swords in reverse, and you don't know what to do about it. Don't know what to do about it. Don't know what to do about it. The wheel in the center of the reading, massive turning points. Don't know what to do about it with the Two of Swords in reverse, right? The Seven of Cups in reverse. Um, you're going to have to come out of confusion, judgment, and make a conscious, cognitive, big-time decision Two of Pentacles, what choice you're going to make. Two, balancing, you know, one, what, what, which one's better? Which one's better, right? That's what he's doing in that Two of Pentacles right there. And the tower, okay? A, a, the tower, implosion, the Five of Pentacles, uh, left in the cold, financial issues, the devil, um, an attachment that is restriction to the growth, and the Nine of Wands. All right, this is what this guy, this is telling you. This is what this is telling you. Okay. So, don't know what to do about it all, right? Don't know what to do about it all. Coming out of, coming out of that state of being and looking at the situation in the judgment card, right? In, in complete and total honesty, judging two of pentacles, what it is you're going to do in this situation. Extremely important. One direction will take you to a tower. One direction will, five of pentacles, leave you in a place of ill well-being to the devil. One of them is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth and toxic to your life. One of them, nine of wands, is going to be a burden and a struggle. Wheel of Fortune in the center of your reading. One of them is going to be a massive turning point in your destiny. That's why they're telling you to get your shit straight up here. Hop in the chariot. Let's go because you've got something to do, which is this Wheel of Fortune. A massive turning point. It's either going to be a massive turning point one way or another, right? But the turning point for you, what Spirit's trying to set you up for, is this. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay? Nine of Pentacles is about standing in your power. Nine of Pentacles is about the number nine is um, completion. Okay? It's not fulfillment. 
It's completion, right? Ten is fulfillment. It's completion. And what this is saying, standing in your power, independence, self-sufficiency, what this is saying is that you have grown a lot. And because you have come to terms with a lot of your things, last one being this top row up here, right? This mental baggage. Because you are powerful, because you are standing in your power, okay? King of Wands in reverse. Will you be able to identify the, ego, the, e the egocentric, self-centered person? Or will you be able to even identify the King of Pentacles? Because whatever this Nine of Pentacles is, is what you learned from this whole situation back here where you put your heart and soul into something and it bit you in the ass, okay? This Nine of Pentacles is the strength that you have grown since then. And you're strong, okay? You've done a lot of work. You probably understand that this emperor in reverse right here is an egocentric, self-centered, narcissistic type of person. You probably have done enough research from whatever fucked you up up here to realize the, the red flags when you see them. The question is, can you recognize the king of pentacles? Can you recognize someone who is good for you? Can you recognize someone who is um, upstanding and forthright and works hard and wants to take care of shit? Can you recognize that? Because I think that you are so entrenched in the egocentric, self-centered experiences that you've had, this up here maybe, that you might not be able to recognize a good person when you see it, okay? You might not be able to recognize it. The Wheel of Fortune says they are trying to take you somewhere, and where they're trying to take you is not th this other person, this emperor in reverse, right? Because it's all like no emperor in reverse, right? No emperor in reverse. The tower or the Wheel of Fortune, Interesting. Look, Ace of Swords in reverse, right? I didn't even realize. Ace of Swords in reverse is about not seeing something clearly, not thinking clearly. Five of Wands, um, conflict, internal conflict, external conflict. The Two of Cups, about which one of these relationships you're going to choose. The Sun, being Major Arcana, comes in and says, if you want happiness, success, and vitality in your life, see very clearly Nine of Pentacles that you need to hold out and use what it is that you have learned up to this point about yourself, your life, and your relationships and choose the right path for your life. Five of Swords, win at all costs mentality to the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is betrayal and deception. Okay, so when it all costs, let me work through this, when it all costs mentality, betrayal and deceptions, the seven of cups, options, choices, decisions. All right, look at this. Look what they're telling you right here. So the five of swords, okay? Five of swords is this when it all costs mentality, the seven of swords is betrayal and deception. This is representative of the bad offer, okay? Okay. Seven of Cups says this is one of your options. This is one of your choices. Or you can choose the King of Pentacles. You can recognize the King of Pentacles. And part of recognizing the King of Pentacles is clearing out, again, some of that bullshit from that top row. Go back and watch it again and, and pay attention to that top row. Okay, um, The King of Pentacles, the Empress, that's you. That is you to the star. Hope, faith, purpose, your path. The star goes to the chariot. The chariot's trying to take you to this point so the turning point can happen so you can step into the path and your purpose with the right person. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What's the wrong person? Well, the queen of cups in reverse 
and the Prince of Cups in reverse. That's the wrong person. Maybe it's another water sign, right? But that's the wrong person. Why? Queen of Cups in reverse. Hurt, wounded feelings. Prince of Cups in reverse. Fragmented feelings. This, this, whatever this is with this person over here, and I kind of feel like maybe you already know this person, right? To the chariot in reverse. Major Arcana says, stop. Do not go in the direction of something that you have already had, that you already have bad juju with, right? Don't go in that direction. Chariot in reverse. Stop. Why? Well, because the Ten of Pentacles goes with the King of Pentacles. The future, the kind of life that you want to build for yourself, the Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success. What is that? It's overcoming the battle. What is that? It's the Nine of Pentacles. It's you standing in your power. Why? Because you overcame hopefully what they were addressing at the very, very beginning of this reading, okay? If you will do that, it's going to give you what you need, okay? The Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success. You will overcome this battle. Ten of Pentacles, the future looks beautiful. The Eight of Wands, go in that direction. Go in the direction of the beautiful future. Don't go in the direction of repeating something with someone um, from your past. Don't do that. The five of pentacles in reverse, uh, you know, you, you, you go in a different direction or five of pentacles in reverse, spiritual poverty. Why would it be spiritual poverty? Because you're going to be ignoring your intuition that they told you to pay attention to way back here about behavior patterns that you don't need to repeat in your life. Okay. Ten of wands, you're going to have a burden and a struggle. The ten of swords in reverse, you have an opportunity to renew and regenerate in your life, Eight of Pentacles, because you've been working on something, yourself, your belief system, your spirituality, let's hope, right? Eight of Pentacles, you've been working hard, you've learned everything that you need to learn from this other person, um, even if it's not someone from your past, it's a type, it's your type of person, it's the same type of person that you've been tangling with your whole life. And they're coming back around again, but so is a good person. Someone who means it is also coming. And this, this person who means it is new, I think. You don't, you're not with this person now, okay? All right. Fool in reverse. Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Princess of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action. Undelivered promises. The Three of Cups in reverse. Third party situations. All kind of interference. All kind of whatever in the background from this person before, okay? And this is definitely someone from your past because the devil's there. It's an attachment that's a restriction to your growth. I say that though, but at the same time, I hear in my head, it can be a type, which is an attachment that's a restriction to your growth. So nevertheless, if you choose the bad option, you're going to get a lot more of what you already got somehow, some way in your life. The high priestess, man, use your intuition. It is your higher power. Whatever you have chosen to name it, it is all source energy. And it is that calibrating your internal compass to point you towards your true north. Speaking to you through your intuition because your soul was here way before your body was here. And your soul knows where you need to go. So listen to that on the inside. The high priestess, your intuition. Two of Pentacles. Prioritize and balance out lovers in reverse that that this is a misaligned relationship two of cups in reverse and don't engage in it to the world so you can close this chapter of your life and begin a new chapter of your life with the king of pentacles the star the empress the king of pentacles um the ten of pentacles the chariot the world what else do we have here? I mean, the sun. I mean, look at all of this. All of this, all of this is this massive, massive turning point in your life and the divinely orchestrated steps of your path. So choose wisely, Pisces. Choose wisely. What was on the bottom of the deck? Remember? Remember I said, or not on the bottom of the deck. Remember I said I was going to set this aside because I think it will come in handy later. And look at that. It's the Six of Swords in reverse. It's the same Six of Swords in reverse that's in the top of the reading, right? It's mental baggage. Go back and listen to that again. Okay? What was on the bottom of the deck? Well, the Four of Swords. 
It's kind of time to come to terms with some things. To the hangman, take a step back, reevaluate the whole damn situation, and come out on the other side with a new perspective, hermit in reverse, and withdraw your energy from making a very bad judgment call because of a feeling of familiarity, the egocentric, self-centered kind of thing. Probably your parents were narcissists in some way, one or the other or somebody, right? And you're comfortable in that. It feels good in that place because you know how to handle it. You know how to handle yourself. And when it comes to a King of Pentacles type of person, right? You're like, oh, I don't know about all of that right there. That seems like an awful lot of work to me, right? But this is the direction that you need to go. Not the King of Wands in reverse, okay? Not this one right here. Not this one. This is what you like, though. This is what you like. Admit it. This is what you like, okay? But if you want what's good for your life, what's good for your future, and the path that Spirit's trying to push you towards, you're going to recognize this when it comes knocking. And it's coming, Pisces. It's coming. Hope that helps someone. If you want your cards right, hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. Namaste.